First thing uh, I want to talk about is this new massive leak on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Mm -hmm. Now this comes from Front Page Tech, uh, John Prosser, as always. Now we've seen lots of renders initially. There were some renders initially from on leaks, and this they had this sort of P-shaped design yeah, I remember for the those. camera module and that was you know people were like some people were like oh this is cool other people were like oh we absolutely hate it but from these images that we've seen it looks like it's not going to be exactly that type of p-shaped design it's going to be more separate camera modules in that sort of layout mm -hmm. but uh, it kind of reminds me of uh the note uh 10 um when we had the note 10 and the note 10 plus where we had, but but those were all one module, and then yeah. they had the dots at the side. Right, but with yeah. this, it's going to be all of the dots, which you know I think looks pretty good. We've got a matte finish at the back. But first thing I want to ask you is, um, what did you think of the initial P-shaped leaks, and what do you think now? I mean, I, I love the P-shaped look. I thought it was fine. I know a bunch of people were like, ah, oh, we don't like it. But yeah. then again. Um, I, I always like when Samsung changes the modules every year. It can be yeah. expensive, actually, if you think about it, uh, manufacturing year in now. But it provides a very fresh approach, especially if you're one who, who has the ability to upgrade with your carrier. Mm. You've got a new device, it new, looks funky, looks different, that kind of thing. Mm. Now, the new look, I think it's fine. Yeah. To me, it's a bit more boring honestly but yeah but i think you you kind of have to strike a balance between being safe which is not going to just kind of make people go whoa what is that sort of thing yeah but at the same time because to be honest the s21 ultra has a pr very unique design right now right mm -hmm. and i thought they're going to stick with that but it looks like no they, they're actually going to change things up for the ultra version anyway i do like the look of it it's got a matte finish looks much more like a note device than a uh, an s device and that is because it does have an s pen and we can see that in the leaks mm -hmm. looks pretty thick and we do have the s pen enclosed in the housing which you know personally for me i'm so so excited about e yes. as well here we are huge fans of the note series and not having a note device in 2021 was definitely quite disappointing but now more and more every year people were saying what is the note series is it just an s device with an s pen right yeah and that was something that kept coming up year and year and i think over the years uh the note series and the s series just kept getting more and more close together so now to combine them into one and having the ultra with the s pen included i think that's actually a good move from samsung and uh, I think it's going to be successful because it's going to keep the Note users happy. Oh, yeah. And then obviously you're going to have the um, the S22 and the S22 Plus for all of those who, who don't necessarily want that enclosed S Pen. But yeah, I'm very, very excited about it. Looking at the front, we've got the uh, curved um, display. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's something that we were expecting. Uh, of course, it's likely going to be 120 hertz uh, with the Quad HD Plus resolution. In terms of uh, the camera specs, from what we're seeing, it's going to be very similar to what we've already got on the S21 Ultra. Yeah, see, that that I'm not too sure, though. I know, look, uh, front page check said it's a 108, which is yep. the, not the same sensor, but at least the same megapixel count for the yeah. last uh, two, three years, right, roughly? Yeah, yeah, not not, not the uh, 200 Yeah, that, megapixel that, that was that just was. announced. Yeah, yeah, so it's um, But I, I have a feeling that that might change that's just my own personal feeling here mm. um what i'm more interested though from samsung and we know the ultra is going to pack the best they can give but will the um the plus and the regular 22 improve on their cameras mm. because what we've seen from competition aka apple and uh pixel is that you have almost the same set of camera arrays other yeah. than some differentiations right there's no wide angle lenses or something like that oh, sorry no telephoto no telephoto photo is generally exactly. the one that they miss out but then yeah. when you look at the primary camera on the ultra wide on the pixel it's exactly the, the same, same whether you go the 6 or the 6 pro so yeah um that consistency would be uh nice on some of the other models but i mean i'm excited I know these leaks are pretty early. It's looking like February time. I'm, I'm hearing right now, it looks like we might have the S21 FE coming in January. See, now that's that's why I want to ask the question is, because uh, I'm having already mixed minds about it. We're just hearing that rumor is that, do I just say, why buy an S21 FE in January when the S22 may be in February or early March, right? It could be early March when it officially hits the market. That's true. Like, but I But I think the deal that you'll get on it is just going to be like, look, you know that when the S22 um, series comes out, you're mm -hmm. going to be starting at 800 easy, right? Yeah. If this is coming in at 600, that's a, that's a good deal. What if what if Samsung bites the bullet and says 499? 
Yeah, I mean, then there you go, and then th- that's just it. So then you're you're appealing to a completely different uh, demographic right. there. So whoever's whoever's going to go for that probably wouldn't have gone for the um, S22 anyway because that's kind of more high end. Yeah. And you know how many S20 FEs they sold last year? They sold the whole deal. So True. yeah, so exciting times with Samsung. Um, it's it's crazy that straight away in January things are going to start kicking off. With we thought we might get a bit of a break. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. But nope. I hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to hear the full podcast episode, then that will be linked down below. And if you want to see more clips like this then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf Speaks, and I'll see you next time.